All right, let's jump into some of the other topics. Nikki Haley <coughs> announced yesterday uh, that she would indeed be running for president. Uh, that, so she is the second candidate to jump in after Donald Trump. Um, <coughs> she is, uh, so she announced that um, uh, she'll be running in the Republican primaries. She's already off to New Hampshire and off to Iowa uh, to start uh, her campaign. Uh, you know, as you know, I am a uh, uh, have been fairly positive about Nikki Haley within the Republican world, uh, within the the potential Republican candidate. She is, uh, I think, by 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 far at this point uh, a favorite of mine. We'll see we'll see who else joins the fray, and we'll see how the campaign develops, and we'll see how we'll see what she actually says and does during the campaign, uh, and whether she is worthy of the support. But so far. Uh, she is my favorite. She was uh, indeed my favorite going into 2016. I was disappointed that she didn't run, although given what happened, she would have been, I think, crushed by, uh, by uh, Trump. Um, it's going to be interesting uh, to see how she runs. Does she run a real campaign where she stands up in particular to Trump and goes after Trump and attacks Trump? Uh, or does she try to stay above all that, attacks and everything, and position herself to be a VP candidate. Um, that re relates to both Trump and DeSantis. Will she, will she uh, uh, play kind of a, a soft, moderate uh, uh, stance with regard to attacking, uh, you know, on, on the campaign trail and in the, in the, um, in the uh, debates, or, or, uh, and, and, and position herself? I mean, somebody said... I think a John Bolton said on a TV show, uh, he said, uh, Nikki Haley's not running for president, Nikki Haley's running for vice president. And maybe that's true. I hope not. I, I mean, I really, really, really hope that she takes the gloves off. I, I don't think she's going to, because I think, I think basically everybody in the Republican field, even DeSantis, are afraid that if they really take the gloves off, if they really go after Trump, then they will lose too many voters who will be completely alienated and, and therefore they won't have a chance of winning the primary or the general. I, I think that's the big mistake. I think the only way to win those people over is to show them that you can stand up not only to the left, but also to, uh, to Trump, to, to play this game all the way. Um, I think Trump there is enough there to be able to really embarrass Trump and really go after him and really minimize his position within the Republican Party. And um, I think somebody needs to do that. I, I don't know that anybody has the courage, the audacity, the backbone. Uh, Trump will come after you if you do. Um, <clears throat> but my view is this, is this is what needs to be done. I, I'll give you an example of, of something she wrote that's, a, that's an example of not doing that and, and uh, <clears throat> trying to take a different route, a softer route. Instead of going after Trump on his fake claims about a stolen election and the fact that he is a loser, that he has lost the Republicans, the House, the Senate, and the White House, and that she is a winner, that she's never lost an election, that she is a winner, Therefore, um, uh, you know, Trump shouldn't be the nominee because he's proven that he can lose to somebody as weak as Biden. That, that should be the strategy or one of the pieces of the strategy. Instead of that, Nikki Haley's saying, um, uh, this is a tweet that she put out, but this is kind of a theme. I have a particular message to my fellow Republicans. We've lost the popular vote in seven of the last eight presidential elections. Our cause is right but we have failed to win the confidence of the majority of a majority of Americans. Well, that ends today. If you're tired of losing, then put your trust in a new generation. And if you want to win, not just as a party, but as a country, then stand with me. Now, that's a great matter. She's absolutely right. Republicans have lost the popular vote. I mean, yes, we do have, we, that's not how you choose a, a president in the United States. So it's not questioning the legitimacy of those votes, but it is, it is true that, and this is how she sidesteps the Donald Trump thing. Donald Trump clearly lost the, majority, the popular vote. He doesn't question that. He claims he lost, he lost certain states. 
by, a, by, by appealing to this idea of a popular vote, she sidesteps, still gets to say we've lost, still gets to call them losers in a sense, uh, and, and doesn't attack you know, uh, Trump's claim about the specific elections of 2020. I mean, she can get away with this for a while, but ultimately she's going to have to deal with Trump's claim. She's going to have to take a stand. Um, as I've said, I like Nikki Haley. I thought she did a good job at, in South Carolina as governor. I thought she did, and people I know in South Carolina liked her. Um, I thought she did a good job as, uh, as a representative, the U.S. representative in the U.N., although I don't believe the U.S. should have a representative in the U.N., but that's a, a whole different question. But she did a good job. She's firm. She's tough. Uh, she's got, I think, the right kind of foreign policy, much better than Donald Trump's foreign policy. Um, and, and my only, you know, and she's written up ads defending capitalism. The not the defense I would like to see of capitalism, but it sure is better than Biden and Elizabeth Warren's defense of capitalism, and it certainly is better than, I think, uh, Trump, and we'll see uh, what DeSantis's defense of capitalism is if he has one. By, uh, Nikki Haley has not been afraid to use the word capitalism and to stand by capitalism, so she gets a lot of credit from me for that. Uh, you know, she comes across as tough and intelligent. Um, uh, the only negative for, uh, with me uh, in terms of Nikki Haley, the only negative I have with Nikki Haley is the fact that uh, she cozied up to, 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 to Trump so much while he was president. Uh, she was, his, again, his, uh, UN secretary. Um, but, but she just has not criticized him has not criticized him. And that really, really worries me in terms of her you know, ability to stand up to him, in terms of her ability to separate herself from the Make America Great crowd and, uh, and, and to define a, 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 winning, a, a real winning strategy um, that is not linked to the, I think, failed strategies of, uh, of Trump. And uh, anyway... So, uh, so we will see. But I, I'm excited. I, you know, uh, she's somebody to watch. I, at this point, I don't think she has a chance. Uh, if DeSantis runs, I don't think she has a chance. That, and, and I'm afraid Republicans are going to have too many nominees. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, you know they don't get more than five five legit ones. Uh, you know, we'll see. I hope Pence stays out of it. Uh, you know, I hope uh, uh, Pompeo stays out of it, unless, unless the only good reason for one of them to enter the campaign. But it's it, neither Pompeo or, or, or Pence are going to do this. The only reason to have them enter the campaign is if they are willing to go full throttle anti-Trump, if they're willing to attack him viciously in order to allow the best of the rest to rise up. Somebody needs to do that. The problem is Pompeo was uh, is uh, Secretary of State and, and Pence was his vice president. They stood by him it almost is it really his entire presidency. Neither one of them is in a position to say he was a he was terrible because ne and he is a terrible human being because both of them played along. So you need a candidate. You, and, and Nikki Haley is ideally situated for this. You need a candidate who can. Just go after him. Just completely go after him. Um, so uh, we we will see. Um, uh, you know, my my uh, my priority right now is my my hope right now is somehow Nikki differentiates herself and and gains enough traction to be the Trump alternative, or at least to be the Trump DeSantis alternative. And, and it's a three-way race, and that she somehow, somehow comes out ahead. Uh, I think that's very low probability, but that's my hope. And again, I like her, so maybe, maybe she's a president in the next cycle, or maybe she's a VP, or we'll see. We'll see what actually happens. All right. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution. 
uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.